All right, math 10C, equations all linear relations, lesson number eight, practice test. Again, these videos are for study purposes only. I try my best to uh, minimize my mistakes, but some of it might happen. Uh, I try my best to explain most of my steps, and the videos might be long, but hopefully it'll be useful. All right, let's get started with chapter, chapter lesson one. So. Z slope of the line with equation 3y is equal to 2x minus 12. Uh, we don't really like this form. We like y is equal to mx plus b. So divide everything by 3. We get y is equal to 2 over 3. 2 over 3x minus 12 divided by 3 is uh, 4. That's my slope, 2 over 3. The so y-intercept of the graph with the equation y is equal to 5x minus 10 is. To find the y-intercept, or you can graph it, but my x is equal to 0. So substitute in x equal to 0, y is equal to 5 times 0 minus 10. Uh, y is equal to 5 times 0 is 0, negative 10. So 2 is d. 3. Which equation represents the line with a slope of 3 and the y-intercept of negative 4? So y is equal to mx plus b. m is my slope, b is my y-intercept. y is equal to 3x minus 4. So uh, 3 is c. 4, which of the following is an equation of a line perpendicular to 5y plus x plus 6 is equal to 0? Uh, we should convert it to a slope y-intercept form, form. So y Oops, 5y is equal to subtract x and 6 on both sides. We get 5y is equal to negative x minus 6. Divide everything by 5. y is equal to negative 1 over 5x minus 6 over 5. So here is my slope. And recall from last unit, if a per line is perpendicular, that means the... Uh, And if a line is perpendicular, that means the slope is a negative reciprocal of each other. So the slope will have to be uh, 5, which is, check well which slope is 5. So this is 5, 1, 1 fifth, and negative 1 fifth. So 4, the answer is, oh, my delete button doesn't work anymore. There we go. Man, something always like him. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Pin's working again. Uh, so the slope is five, and uh, four is eight. Okay, which of the ordered pairs can be found on the graph? Three x minus five y minus four is equal to zero. So uh, plug in all the numbers, so this is x and y, right? So make sure you plug uh, everything in. So three times eight minus five times four. I don't like how it's written. Three times eight minus five times four minus four. So which is 24 minus 20 minus four is equal to zero. So one is on the uh, line. Uh, next up, three times negative three minus five times one minus four is equal to nine minus five minus four is equal to zero. Point two is also on the graph. Three, three times zero minus uh, five times negative 0 0.8 minus four is equal to zero minus zero plus four minus four is equal to zero. Three is also on the thing. And lastly, <coughs> yeah, just make sure I'm still recording. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, lastly, uh, D, negative 2 and 2, 3 times negative 2. Oh, wait, I made a mistake. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Uh, negative 9 minus 5 minus 4 is equal, it's not equal to zero, it is equal to uh, 
<sighs> uh, negative 18. So, sorry, B is incorrect. C, alright, lastly, D. 3 times negative 2 uh, minus 5 times 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 6 minus 10 minus 4, which is equal to uh, negative 20. So, sorry, it's also wrong. So, only 1 and 3 are right. 5 is the answer is B. 6. The point of intersection on the line and the y axis is so they want to find the y intercept. So, for y intercept, x is equal to 0. So 9 times 0 minus 3y plus 9 is equal to 0. Negative 3y plus 9 is equal to 0. Uh, add both sides by 3y. We get 9 is equal to 3y. y is equal to 3. That means x equals to 0. So 0 comma 3 is my solution. 6 is b. All right, use the following information to answer the next two questions. The x and y intercept on the graph are shown of the graph shown are integers. Okay, so P and Q are integers. What is the equation of the line PQ? Uh, so uh, a few ways to do this type of question. I would use the uh, mm, slope intercept form. So Y is equal to MX plus B. Take a look at the rise and the run. We'll just take these points. So rise is 2, 4, 6. Run is 2, 4, 6, 8. So y is equal to 6 over 8x plus what's my y intercept? 6. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's see. So we have to move everything to one side. So Ah, uh, come on, think. So subtract both sides by y. 6 over 8 simplifies to 3 over 4x minus y plus 6. And obviously we want uh, integer numbers on each other, so I have to multiply everything by uh, 4. 0 is equal to 3 over 4 times 4 is 3x minus 4y plus 4 times 6 is uh, 24. 3x minus 4y plus 24 equals 0. 7 is C. Okay, you have a response 1. Given that the line above passes through the point 7.2 comma k, the value of k to the nearest tenth is. So uh, we're going to use this form, or we're going to use this intermediate step to calculate because we know x already, all we need is y. So y is equal to 6 over 8 times 7.2 plus 6. Well, uh, I'm not doing this in my hand. I'm just going to use our calculator. Okay, 6 divided by 8 times 7.2 plus 6 times 7.2 plus 6. 11.4. No rounding needed. 8. If the lines, these are parallel, then, so if two lines are parallel, that means the slopes are going to be uh, the same. So what are the slope? The slope of the first one is equal to uh, A over B, right? The slope of the second one is equal to uh, A over B, D over E. So if the slopes are equal, then A times E, so cross multiply, is equal to P times D. Uh, okay, and then if you subtract on both sides, subtract BD on both sides, AE minus BD is equal to 0, 8 is A. Alternatively, I don't really suggest this, but you can just make up the two lines that are parallel. Let's go with a 1, 2, and 3, and then maybe a 2, 4, and 6. These two should be parallel. 
and then just plug into these things and then see which one works the best. Doesn't work all the time, but sometimes you're really stuck on a test question, you could use it. You have a response too. Given that the line joining these and these, I think that's a whole number, is perpendicular to this, what's the value of Q? <coughs> so what is the slope of this? Uh, 3x, 3x, so add 2y on both sides, minus 5 is equal to 2y. Divide both sides by uh, th by 2. 3 over 2x minus 5 over 2 is equal to y. So I know my slope is going to be 3 over 2. And because they're perpendicular, that means the slopes are negative zero equal of each other. So my slope is going to equal to negative 2 over 3. And now this slope is equal to uh, this slope is equal to oh yeah the slope formula negative q minus three divided by eight minus two. Okay, uh, so negative two over three is equal to uh, negative q minus three over six. So let's uh, multiply the top and bottom by two. So we get negative four over six is equal to negative q minus three over six. Since the numerators are the same, that means the numerators are the same. Negative four is equal to negative q minus three. Uh, add three on both sides. Negative one is equal to negative q. That means q is equal to uh, one. All right, nine, the equation of the lines are, what are the uh, perpendicular? So we'll just use the formula to find the slope. So this one, the uh, slope is equal to uh, negative seven over negative one, which is equal to a uh, seven. This one is equal to uh, negative 7 over 1, which is equal to negative 7. This one is equal to uh, what is it? 1 over oops 1 over negative, sorry, negative 1 over negative 7, which is equal to 1 over 7. And this one is equal to a uh, seven over negative one is equal to negative seven. So four and two are the same. Oh, perpendicular. Perpendicular means negative reciprocal of each other. So seven and uh, one over negative seven, we don't have it. Next up we have negative seven and seven over one. These two are perpendicular. So two and three are perpendicular. What? Nine is. Okay, let me double check. Oh, did I divide this wrong? Yeah, I divide this wrong. So this is uh, negative one divided by seven, which is equal to negative one over seven. Yeah, so these two are negative reciprocal of each other, and then these two are also negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore, the answer is going to be. 1 and 4, and then uh, 2 and 3. Okay, so let's see. 10, the lines passing through these two points have an equation of. So first we should find out the uh, slope, and then we are going to use a slope intercept form. So let's see. Uh, negative two minus negative one over uh, negative five minus negative two. My slope is negative two plus one is negative one. Negative five plus two is negative three. So the slope is equal to one third. And then uh, let's use a point, uh, slope point form. Y minus Y one is equal to M times X minus X one. So we can just use uh, whichever 
whichever point we want to use. So y minus y1, let's just uh, do y minus negative 2, is equal to m, which is 1 third, times x minus x1, x minus x1. Uh, simplify, this is uh, y plus 2 is equal to 1 third x plus uh, 5 over 3. Move everything to one side. You know, multiply everything by 3 first. 3y plus 6 is equal to uh, multiply 3, so x plus 5. Move everything to the right, so subtract 3y and subtract 6 on both sides. 0 is equal to x minus 3y. Uh, 5 minus 6 is equal to negative 1. So the answer should be B. Numerical response 3. These two lines intersect on the y-axis, therefore B is. So if they intersect the y-axis, that means the y-intercepts are the same. So we're going to convert both of these into slope-intercept form. So we just add y on both sides to this. We get 3x plus 2 is equal to y. That means the y-intercept is equal to 2. So that means uh, 0 comma 2 is going to be a point on the graph. We're going to substitute this point in into this form. So every time I see x, I'm going to substitute in 0. Every time I see y, I'm going to substitute 2. So 5 times 0 minus b times y, which is uh, b times 2. What's y? Yeah, b times 2 plus 26 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is obviously 0. So all we have is 2b, negative 2b plus 26 is equal to 0. Add 2b on both sides, 26 is equal to 2b. Then divide both sides by 2. b is equal to 13. Eleven. Which of the equation represents a line which is perpendicular to line one and has the same x-intercept as line two? So we first had to find the slope of line one, and then take the negative reciprocal of it, and then we find it with the x-intercept of two. Okay, takes a little while. So what is the slope of L one? Uh, L1 is equal to, uh, I think it gives two points on the thing that they want us to use. So what is my slope? Rise is 2, 4, okay, 2, 4, 6. And the run is equal to 3. So 6 over 3, the slope is 2. If something is perpendicular to it, that means my slope is going to equal to uh, the slope is going to equal to negative uh, 1 half. Okay, the same x-intercept as line 2. My x-intercept is 2, so that means uh, 2 comma 0 is a point. We're going to use a slope point form. y minus y1 is equal to uh, m times x minus x1. Okay, so y minus y1, y minus y1, 0 is equal to m, negative 1 half, times x minus x1, 2. Okay, simplify everything. y is equal to negative 1 half x. Negative 1 half times negative 2 is equal to 1. Multiply everything by 2. 2y is equal to negative x plus 2. Okay, subtract or add both sides by x. And then subtract 2. We get 0 on this side, x plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, I did something wrong. 
x plus 2y minus 2. Oh, no, I didn't. It's equal to a, which is the correct answer. Four, the equation of the line shown on the diagram is ax plus 2y plus c is equal to 0. I want to find the value of uh, a or c to the nearest hundreds is equal to. So uh, they have given us two points that are the, on the coordinates. So we will first find the slope. And then we are going to use the slope point form to find out the thing. To find out the equation and then simplify it. So what is my rise? 2. Or I draw a triangle first. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So my rise is equal to negative 9. What's my run? 2, 4, 6. Simplify is equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay, now what is my uh, point? Well, it doesn't really matter which point you are going to use, but let's pick one that is exactly on the grid. Uh, I think this point and this point is also supposed to be on the grid. So they're just a little bit harder to see. So again, doesn't really matter which point you use. Let's just use this one because it is a y-intercept and it's a little bit easier to use. Oh, we can use a slope uh, slope point form. We, no, slope intercept form. So y is equal to negative 3 over 2 x. What's my y intercept? 2, so minus 2. Multiply everything by 2. We get 2y is equal to negative 3 x minus 4. Move everything to one side by adding 3 x and adding 4. We get 3 x plus 2 y plus 4 is equal to 0. So a is equal to 3. Uh, C, oops, capital A, A is equal to 3, uh, C is equal to 4, A divided by C, 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.75, 0 0.75. 12, the equation of AB is equal to uh, X minus 2Y plus 4 equals 0, AB cos the X, X, a, B, cos of Y is C. C, D is perpendicular to it. Okay, so we want to find what the equation of C, D is. So for this question, we first have to find out what the... Uh, uh, we got to find out what the Y intercept is. And then we also have to find out this. So we have to find out what this point is and then find out the slope. Once you get a slope, we can find the slope of a perpendicular line, and then you just use a slope point form. Or a slope intercept form is probably a lot easier. Okay, so now, uh, what is a slope of AB? It is equal to, uh, I don't wanna think. It is equal to negative one over negative two, which is equal to one half. Therefore, the slope of CD is equal to negative, negative reciprocal of this, so negative 2. Okay, now uh, I will find out what this point is. So this point, that means, for so for my y-intercept, that means x is equal to 0. So we substitute in x is equal to 0 into this equation, and we get 0 minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Add both sides by 2y, 4 is equal to 2y. Uh, y is equal to 2. Okay, so this is my slope. This is my y-intercept. We get y is equal to uh, negative 2 times negative 2 y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to negative mx plus b. y is equal to negative 2x plus b plus 2. Uh, move everything to one side, so add both sides by 2x and subtract by 2. We get 2x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. 2x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. 12 is b. 13. Consider triangle PQR with triangle side PQ has slope 1 third and R has coordinates negative 4, 7. The equation of the attitude from R to PQ 
line perpendicular from R to PQ is. So if something has a slope of uh, one third, and then you are given a point, it wants this, what is that vertical line to the point, okay? So, uh, so obviously this point is R, this, let's say this is P, this is Q. Again, not drawn to scale. So we first had to find the slope of PQ, take the negative reciprocal of each other, of this, so we can find the slope of the uh, the altitude, and then the altitude of this, and then because we know point R, we can use a slope point form to find it out. So PQ, the slope, the PQ has a slope of one third. So that means the slope of this must be equal to negative three. And we have a point, so we can just use a slope point form. Uh, y minus y1 is equal to m, which is negative 3, times x minus x1, x minus negative 4. Okay, expand everything. y minus 7 is equal to negative 3x. Uh, this is plus 4 times negative 3 is equal to uh, negative 12. Add both sides by 3x and 12, we get 3x plus y. Negative 7 plus 12 is equal to positive 5. It's equal to 0. Oh, oops. Subtract both sides by 5. 3x plus y is equal to negative 5. Subtract by 5, so just we get this form. 13 is c. All right, which of the following line is perpendicular to this? So what is the slope of this? The slope is equal to one over, uh, oops, the slope is equal to uh, negative nine over one, negative nine. What is the slope of this? It is uh, negative one, oops. This is equal to negative one over nine which is equal to negative, is one over, negative one over nine. The slope of this is uh, one over nine. The slope of this is nine. And the slope of this is equal to, uh, to one over nine. So none of these are negative nine. So, oh wait, they said perpendicular. So perpendicular, that means I want one over nine. So it is two and four are perpendicular. So that means it is some other combinations of one, two, three, and four. 14 is going to be D. 15, the line L1 passes through the points, negative three comma five and negative two comma one. Which of these statements are true? So uh, we should, so I have another point, I have an x-intercept, a perpendicular thing, so what we should do is we should find out what L1 is, and then find out what these two things are, okay? So L1, uh, so slope is equal to y2 minus y1, negative 1 minus 5, over negative two minus uh, negative three, which is equal to negative six over two plus three is one, so it's equal to negative six. And what is my point? I'll use this one because the number seems smaller. Uh, y minus y one is equal to negative six times x minus x one, x minus x one, Okay, so this is y plus one is equal to negative six x. This is plus two, plus two times negative six is plus, sorry, negative 12. Uh, so try both sides by one, y is equal to negative six x minus 13. Okay, now I wanna plug in four and negative 37 to this, so x is equal to four, y is equal to negative 37. Let's see, negative 37 is equal to negative six times four plus 13. What is uh, negative six times four plus 13? Negative 
negative 6 times 4 plus 13. Alright, just give me a sec. I just want to double check my answers. Alright, I found out what the mistake is. I copied the uh, sign down wrong. So it should be subtract 13 and not add 13. And now, if it's subtract 13, we just put this in our calculator. We get negative 37 is equal to negative 37, which matches up. So number one is correct. Okay, now if I want to find the x-intercept, if I want to find the x-intercept, that means the y is equal to zero. So substituting y is equal to zero for this one, we get zero is equal to negative six x plus minus 13. Uh, add both sides by six x, so we get six x is equal to negative 13. Divide both sides by uh, six, x is equal to negative 13 over six, which is correct. Oh, that's ugly. Negative 13 over six, which is correct. Okay, now the slope of this is negative six, therefore, the something that's perpendicular to it will be the negative reciprocal of this. So we get negative, or sorry, negative six becomes positive one over six. So three is also right. Since A, B, C, one, two, three are all right, 15 is D. Numerical response five. The temperature at sea level is 21, 12.1 degrees. A at top of a mountain, 6,400 meters above sea level, the temperature exists. To a nearest tenth, the rate of temperature decrease in rate per centimeters per kilometer is. So they want to decrease, right? And 6,400 meters is equal to 6.4 kilometers. Cent, uh, degrees per kilometer, so just uh, subtract these, 12.1 minus 29.5 divided by uh, 6.4. <coughs> uh, what do I get? Oh, it's uh, minus negative 29.5. Since I want to find out how big the gap is, so I subtract big from small. Oh, I mean, small from big. Yeah, there we go. Do I 6.4? I get my answer is equal to 6.5. So it decreases by 6.5 degrees per kilometer. All right, written response. Consider the points, these four, show that the equation of the line L1 through S and perpendicular to PQ is equal to this. So first, it is perpendicular through PQ. That means we have to find out what the slope of PQ is and then take the negative reciprocal of the whole thing. So, PQ, what is the slope? It's equal to uh, y2 minus y1, one minus negative two, divided by x2 minus x1, two minus negative seven. We get uh, one plus two is three, two plus seven is nine, so one third. Do you take the negative reciprocal of each other? So that means the slope of L1 is equal to negative three. Uh, checks out. Okay, now it is goes through point S, so that now we can use a slope point form, y minus y1, so y minus three is equal to m negative three times uh, x minus x1, x minus eight. Okay, uh, y minus three is equal to, expand this, negative three x plus 24, Mm, add both sides by 3, we get y is equal to negative 3x plus 27, which checks out. Okay, uh, L2, it goes through point R and is parallel through PQ. So we found out what the slope uh, through PQ already, it is, so MPQ, it is equal to a one third, and because it is L2 is parallel to PQ, they must be equal. So it's also the slope, oops, I mean to say slope of L2 
is also one third. And uh, what is point R? It is uh, negative two comma negative seven. So I get y minus y one. So y minus negative seven. It is equal to one third times x minus x seven or x minus uh, x one. Okay. Uh, so we get y plus seven is equal to one third x. Uh, What is that? That is uh, plus two times one third is equal to uh, plus two thirds. Okay, they want a y-intercept form, so we have to subtract seven on both sides. You get y is equal to one third x. Okay, I have two thirds subtract seven. I'll use my calculator. Two thirds subtract seven, convert to a fraction. We get negative nineteen over three. Negative nineteen over three. Okay, that is a one intercept form, we're good. Okay, draw both lines on the grid and state a suitable window which x and y intercept for each graph. So negative uh, three x plus 27, let's graph it. Negative uh, three x plus 27. Second graph is uh, one third x minus 19 over three. One third x minus 19 over three. Okay, so this is the uh, standard zoom. Uh, so we have to see more up and more to the right. So more up, more to the right. More up means a y maximum value. Let's change y maximum to like, uh, let's see how much. Seems like a lot. Let's change y max to like maybe 20. Okay, more on the right means x max. X max also seems to be a lot. Let's change it to 30. See how it looks. Okay, x max is enough. Y max is not enough. Y max needs to be bigger. So that means uh, y max, let's change it to uh, 40. It doesn't really matter. 30 probably works fine too. Okay, perfect. So, uh, oh, I, there we go. Oops, copy. Nice. Come on, go back. So here's my graph. Now my graph have all the, uh, all the points I want, so both the x and y intercept for each graph, oops, are here. And then now all I have to write down is a window settings. So negative 10, 31, uh, negative 10, 31. Oops. And then y is uh, negative 10, uh, 31. I have 10, 31. Uh, quick sketch looks like this, oops, this and uh, this. We should label the lines. Usually the blue one is the first one. This is L1, this is L2. Again, don't forget the uh, window settings. If you don't have it, you'll lose marks on the test. All right. That's it for equation of linear relations. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Goodbye.